All right, I'm at Crema Bakery. We are in South Austin. And joining me is Jessica. She is the owner. Hello. So we're doing this segment because mm -hmm. we are sick and tired of seeing our local places shut down. So first, how has 2020 been for you all? I know that the pandemic has kind of affected you in more ways than one. Yeah, it is. Uh, it has been a roller coaster for sure. Um, we started out the year kind of in a better place than we've ever been. We've been open for almost eight years now, and um, we're getting ready to open another location and um, ha have a big brunch restaurant down here in South Austin and um, expand our bake shop and kind of do a lot of different things. And then the pandemic hit and basically stopped everything, um, cut our business dramatically. Um, lost all of our wholesale business and um, basically drained our bank accounts so that we weren't able to kind of open our second location. So um, we had to pivot. That's like definitely gonna be the word, the word of 2020 <laughs> yeah. for sure. Uh, like a lot of businesses did, we started selling groceries and doing family meals and um, also offering free sack lunches for anybody who needed them wow. um, and just kind of doing, doing everything that we could to stay alive. So we're lucky. We feel very blessed uh, to be still open at this point in the year because there are just so many of our friends who've lost their businesses, so many yeah. um, Austin institutions that just aren't around anymore. So Yeah, so tell yeah. us a little bit about Crema. Seven and a half years? Yep, seven and a half years. Yeah, April of 2013 we opened. Um, we're kind of a little one-stop shop in our neighborhood for coffee, pastries. Um, we do some food still. Um, custom cakes, you know, uh, our big thing right now is getting ready for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, this is the first year we're doing full Thanksgiving meals, so turkey and uh, dressing and all of those things. We've got some vegan and gluten-free options. And then our big thing is pies. We usually do anywhere between 200 and three, uh, 250 to 300 pies oh, wow. uh, for, th for Thanksgiving. And we're looking at probably closer to 350 or so this year, so it's gonna be an adventure for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. okay, so we're gonna get into these. Do you guys make an apple pie? We do, we make a salted caramel apple pie that is crazy good. Can I jump into this? Yeah, please do. Okay, what do I do? <laughs> so, so we are uh, making some caramel apples, which are a super easy, fun thing to do at home, um, especially if you've got kids. Uh, it's just, everybody's looking for ways to, um, keep kids busy during this pandemic time. Oh and so, gosh, yeah, one of them. this is, a, yeah, this is a really easy way to do that. So you can start by making your own caramel, which is definitely uh, harder. We do that here, but um, if you're doing them at home, you can just get a package of those pre-made caramel candies, um, add a couple tablespoons of water and then microwave them until they're melted and then you're good to go. Oh my gosh. Um, and you can really do anything, anything uh, that you want. We've got some crushed Oreos, M&Ms, um, some different kind of sprinkles. You know, my favorite, um, we are a LGBT owned bakery. And so yep. um, our favorite thing is to put glitter on everything. <laughs> That's a, everything. I started with the shiny stuff, <laughs> yep. of course. Yep. And so we, uh, we so have some little edible glitters too. We are going to run out of time. Okay, but tell everybody where you're located. Sure. So we're on Brody uh, between William Cannon and Slaughter. Uh, we're open seven days a week. Uh, we open at seven during the week. So you can stop by, get, get some coffee, get a pastry. Mm -hmm. um, our website is cremabakerycafe.com. Okay. That's where you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook and um, place those pie orders. Absolutely. We'll place those pie orders. Please support local. I already had a latte this morning and it was very good. So come and find them once again. Support local. And if you uh, if you want to take a look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to dig into this, but send it back to you all in the studio. Oh, Brittany, you're making my job so hard right now. I got to go there, cure my sweet tooth, and maybe get one of those shirts that she has on that says "Sweet Bang." I love that. <laughs> <laughs>